Hello everyone, strapping tight, we are going to get super creative today. I'm going to show you some awesome techniques that you can try to easily improve your work and make a beautiful ginkgo leaf piece. Let's get right into it. Today's episode is going to be completely different. I often embellish my pieces, change little things, tweak, adjust my process, but today you are up for a treat. I actually made something yesterday and I completely don't like it and I don't even remember when that happened to me, so it's going to be very different. So I, I did a swipe and I used the straw and I had plans for this, but somehow I was thinking what to do and I kind of lost interest. <laughs> As I said, I don't remember when it happened before, so it's going to be different. I was inspired by something. I went on a little holiday and I saw those amazing trees. These are ginkgo trees, but they're so stunning. And those leaves. And then I remembered that I had so many requests for ginkgo leaves. So that's what's going to happen. This is going to disappear and I'm going to come up with an idea. So, the colours for today are basically a very minimalist. All I used is phthalo green, phthalo blue, titanium white and one more colour, pearl turquoise. And I intermixed them with white and I created those values. I don't know if I'm going to use all of them. See, this one's got more blue, this one's got more green and the very pale ones with lots of white. I fancy now for a change some balloon dips because I want different shapes. I don't like the way the flowers look. I've got my veteran balloon that's almost as old as the channel but I think it's going to be too small for my purpose. I was looking for a suitable balloon but I couldn't find it so I'm going to use a glove. An old glove of course. <laughs> don't want those fingers so you can have a little bit of fun. How cute is that? Now to do a balloon roll, I need some paint in the background. I'm kind of wondering which color to use. Probably go with white. Not much, just a little bit. How about adding some of this? I definitely don't have to do the whole background. And this is just for fun. Very, very thin layer. Now I'm actually a bit torn because I was going to put some paint here and I was going to press the balloon. But at the moment I'm thinking, do I want a big puddle or do I want just a gentle imprint? And I might go with the second option. Well, this is an evening of experimentation. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to pour it on my table and then I'll press the balloon and I'll try to transfer it here. Honestly, I've never done it this way. But I love experiments, you know that. Oh, how big do I want? This is crazy, isn't it? And I, I told you it's going to be weird, different today. No, let's just keep those three colors and see what happens. Ta-da! My elephant coming in. Oh, it's not as comfortable as the balloon for me, but okay. That's pretty. And now... Bing. Whoa. Okay, I'm liking it. I'm liking it in the other direction. I want it this way. Yes. Okay. Now, do I want it bigger or not? And how many do I want? I've got tons here, so I could I could use some more, but I could also add another color. This direction. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Now, do I want it bigger? Maybe I'll just do it twice. Oh, that's even better. Shall we try one here? I would like it bigger if I can do it. Okay, now I'm confident that should work. Let's press it down first. I'm doing them at a specific angle. In my head, that's what I want. Wow. Okay. Let's do that. I love this one. Do you want to see something crazy? That's how, that's how I recycle paint. Look, all comes off and I'll have another interesting color. Clean. Don't have to wipe it. Now I'm still thinking whether I want more than three. Again. Yes. 
I thought there was something missing here. Okay, let's leave it. All right, so that's a bit less organized. That's what I wanted, five in the end. What I've got here, some quick sketches of the ginkgo leaves. I'm going to transfer them onto frisket paper. If you're going to do it this way, you can use contact paper, frisket paper, even painter's tape, pressing a bit harder so I can make an imprint. And I am going to do what I always do with transferring images, just using my nails. You can press something else, you can go over with a pencil, that will work the same. I am going to just cut this part, and if I slightly alter it, it doesn't really matter. What matters is that the leaf is not bigger than my blob of paint. What I'm doing now is actually altering the first mistake. If I was going to do the design with the ginkgo leaves, I would probably do something completely different. But this is me trying to figure out how to rescue the painting. And now I'm looking how much do I have to adjust here. And I'm going to stick the first one down. Okay, now I'm choosing what I want to preserve which section I like the most. You see that? So this is going to be my leaf. If you position it very gently, you can change easily. Which sections are my favorite? Can you see that stuck on? Now you can use paint. It doesn't have to be white, but I'm going to use white and I could just use a brush and brush on. I think a better option would be using a sponge and dabbing the paint on. Or if you have spray paint, that's the quickest option. Since I do have spray paint, I'm going to go out and within one minute, I'll be back with a sprayed background. This is the first result. As much as I like this uh, interesting background, I have to cover it with white because we do have those dark patches here. So I'm just going to use a sponge now. And at the same time, I'm thinking what colors do I want in the background? See how nicely it covers now. I looked at some color combinations online and I saw that pillow, I'll show you. So I saw that online, a uh, company selling cushions. And I thought I do like those colors and they do resemble my leaves. So maybe something like this with golden embellishments. I wish there was an artist, a designer I could mention, but unfortunately there isn't. Before I paint the background, I thought that since I have a couple more of ginkgo templates, I cut out a couple more. I might as well stick them on because this way I can add another color later if I want to. In the end, I've decided to use similar blues for the background, but I'm going to apply the darkest shade at the bottom. This is Thalo Blue and Thalo Green mixed together. of colors the last video was quite a shocker for me i was very pleased with the result but the color combination was totally out of my comfort zone it was the feather the feather was how my channel actually started so if you haven't watched it please do and now the most satisfying time for me i was actually wondering why do i like applying this frisket paper so much or contact paper probably because I love peeling it off so much. Oh, that's pretty. I think I'll have another artwork just next to it. Tell me this is not super satisfying. Yeah. Oh, what a beauty. What a beauty. Those two are together. And one more. I'm going to extend the stems using white paint now.
This part is going to be very exciting for me because I've never applied gold leaf on such a big surface. I usually make some little lines and some edges, but this is going to be the whole leaf. I'm going to cover the whole thing and I, I hope I'm not going to regret it. Sticking some more. I'm just tempted to do even more. I just found this. I made koi fish using this, I believe. If you haven't watched it, please do. The link is here. It was so cute. And now I just want to do some outline. And because I have those templates, I might reuse them again. Just showing you what we can do with one thing. Because I used it quite some time ago, I think I need to declog it. Make sure that it flows smoothly. I am not even going to draw around the leaf. I am just going to use the leaf as it is. Go around. Might make it a bit a bit bigger. This template was just to show me where I want it. This is going to be very rich. It sure looks cute like this, like little droplets. I should probably buy this pillow, you know, that was my inspiration to go with this. That will be fun. Make a couple more. Just have to figure out where I want it. I am adding some color to the background because I thought it was a bit, I just say, I didn't like this platter. <laughs> so there's always something changing. I also thought I wanted the blue to be a bit different. I do have all the templates, so it's like on and off, on and off. <laughs> this is a bit of a crazy episode, but oh, I am so much happier with what I'm seeing now. I'm just doing some sections, lighter, darker. You know, sometimes, well, we just experiment and see what we like, you know. At the moment, I am enjoying this. It's time to create some shadows. I'm still using the same colors, touching the edges. Some of the stems were not thick enough, so I can fix that as well. And when I add darker shadows to the edges, not all of them, just a little bit, I think that makes the flowers, not the flowers, the leaves, look a bit more 3D. There we are, there are so many changes and turns along the way, but I hope you enjoyed it in the end and you've learned something. The creative process isn't always perfect, but it sure is fun. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing to my Patreon for lots of bonus content. You can also check my website, however, I'm on holiday now, so shipping might be delayed. I hope you all enjoyed and see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.